Hallelujah. Welcome to the last month of the year 2023. As we still remain blessed in the name of Jesus, we shall consider the topic, the blind lecture. John chapter 9, verse 34. The question of who say in the gospel of John chapter 9 contents reveals to us the curiosity of Jesus' disciple in chapter 9 verse 2 whose desire is to know the root cause of the man's planets and also the critical criticism approach of the Pharisees who also desire to know the Gebura, one of the evil term used to describe healing or miracle. Hallelujah. And also the New Testament dynamics, the Greek war that also describe the mighty works of God. Hallelujah. In the biblical era, it was common among the Jews that one sins led direct to physical infirmities. This religious tradition just opposed the actions of the Pharisees when the born blind and healing by Jesus Christ was brought to them for a proper scrutiny and the Pharisees investigate this blind heel man at the cause of their interrogation with the blind heel man the blind imam does lectures the Pharisees and as a lecture it resulted to a confrontation between the Pharisees and the blind imam his parents and also the Pharisees fear the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah therefore this confrontation figure out six basic things which we shall consider as follow one John chapter 9 verse 14 and verse 16 the issue of Jesus dishonor the Sabbath day the Pharisees accused Jesus of dishonoring the Sabbath day by healing the born blind man meaning the Pharisees value Sabbath more than healing Matthew chapter 23 verse 23 answer this hallelujah 2 John chapter 9 verse 16b the Pharisees also accuse Jesus on the basis that a sinner cannot heal and therefore they disbelieve the authenticity of the healing that took place in the life of the born blind man. Hallelujah. 3. John chapter 9 verse 17 the issue of disputing the prophethood of Jesus the blind born healed man was to later when asked that Jesus is a prophet why the Pharisees disputed and they disagree that Jesus is not a prophet hallelujah number four john chapter 9 
verse 22 the issue of threatening to excommunicate and disfellowship whoever gave a direct testimony to the messiahship of Jesus the Pharisees did not acknowledge Jesus as the Messiah and therefore they unanimously agree that anyone that gave a direct testimony that Jesus is Messiah will be pulled out of the synagogue hallelujah number five John chapter 9 verse 25 the issue of strong affirmation by the born blind ill man John chapter 9 verse 25 and I quote in parts whether this Jesus is a sinner or not I don't know one thing I know I was blind but now I see end of quotation this is the strong affirmation that the blind man made and the Pharisees cannot hold their temperaments hallelujah number six John chapter 9 verse 26 2 to 34 the blind man lectures the Pharisees as the confrontation and dialogue continue between them this lecture resulted to the Pharisees cannot control the temperament and they were aggressive to the man and also provoke to the extent of the true in out because the man proved to them through his lecture that Jesus Christ is the healer and he was sent by God hallelujah what are the things to note one one does not sin when it goes against religious tradition but one sins when it transgress against God's law number two spiritual blindness can have greater power over the acts than the empirical facts of the spiritual truths and number three when a true miracle or healing occur there could be no contradiction or argument because the miracle spoke for itself hallelujah and therefore the blind man let's trust the pharisees and he proved to them that jesus is the messiah